G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing my full review of the Xiaomi Mi Band 5. I will also be referring to it as the Xiaomi My Band 5 because I just can't help myself. It's the My Band 5 in my head, Mi Band 5 in Xiaomi's head. Full review. Running, cycling, swimming, hiking, step count, sleep tracker, heart rate monitor, all that stuff, I'm gonna go through everything and I have done all those exercises many times as part of my testing. So this isn't just a slap it on and wear it for half a day review. This is like two weeks of hardcore use and it's been pretty impressive, but there are some drawbacks. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. So I guess we're gonna to wanna to quickly cover off on some specs. And the first one is the most important one for most of us is because we look at it more than anything else, and that is the display. It is a 1.1 inch AMOLED display. It comes in with some pretty good colors. It's very visible in daylight. I have it on about a seven level brightness and it just is fine for me. I can see it in all types of lighting conditions. If anything, it's a little bit too bright at night time. So I definitely turned it on to do not disturb mode at night time because it just gets a little bit bright for me. It says that it has 14 day battery life. I'm a bit sus on that, but 14 days is what they're saying to us. They're also telling us that it has a high precision six axis sensor and PPG heart rate sensor. 11 professional sports modes. Now it also does have the 24 hour heart rate and sleep tracking with women's health tracking. Haven't tried that out, but I'm sure if you have, you can comment down below and let us how it worked for you. Back on the battery is 125 milliamp hour battery. Comes with Bluetooth 5.0, weighs 11.9 grams. You do not know it's on your wrist most of the time. It's five ATM water resistant, which is pretty cool. So that's five atmospheres of pressure that it can handle. And they're telling us that it is curved reinforced glass. Now, if you're upgrading from the Xiaomi Mi Band 4, you're probably gonna think it doesn't look very different. And you're right, it doesn't look very different at all. There's a couple of changes. One of them is the charging connection. It is a small magnetic connector that just clips onto the back of the device. Works really well, clips on easily, charges quickly. I really do like that new change to the charging connector. And it has the same back button at the bottom of the display for going back and navigating it is pretty simple, swiping side to side or up and down. It really is quite simple to navigate. Accuracy is always big when it comes to working out. People want to know that their data is accurate. The Xiaomi Mi Band 5 can be really accurate and it can be really inaccurate. And my first example of this is going to be with running. If I choose from the watch to track a run, it is between 10 and 15% out. I know it's using my phone to track the GPS, but there's a problem somewhere with the connection with the device and the phone and it doesn't track correctly. If your experience is different, please let me know in the comments, but for me, it was about 15% out. However, if I use my phone as the run tracker, then if I use the Xiaomi Mi Band 5 to track my heart rate and add in some other data to the run data from my Google Fit app, I end up with some really good information that I don't just get from using my phone. So it is definitely an issue if you just tap start from the watch itself. It's not accurate. There's a delay there between the watch and the app and the tracking. It just isn't accurate enough. Using it during running is fine. Like I said, it's very light, 11.9 grams. You do not even know you're wearing it. With running, this is the only exercise where I struggle to actually see the display as I'm running because of that movement of running. If I'm looking at it while I'm cycling or I stop in the pool quickly to look at it, I can see all the information I need. 
but if I'm running, it is hard to see what is on the display. The Xiaomi screen is a little bit small. It does track my heart rate throughout the runs and I get some good consistent data while I'm running regarding my heart rate. And I also do get warnings to tell me that my heart rate's gone above a certain amount. Now for automatically tracking exercises, yes, that does work, but I do find that is out as well. By the time I've actually walked 200 meters is when it kicks in. And it doesn't backtrack to the start of my walk. It'll start from where it detects I'm walking. Now the accuracy of the heart rate sensor, like with all my reviews of smartwatches or fitness devices, we don't know how accurate it is. We just believe that this device is telling us our heart rate and we believe that it is correct. So what I look for is consistency. And it does consistently tell me that my heart rate is up or down depending on the amount of exercise that I put out. So I may not have total belief in its accuracy. I do have a fairly solid belief in its consistency. When I'm running up a hill, it tells me I'm running up a hill. When I'm sitting on the couch watching YouTube, my heart rate's normally pretty low and it reflects that within the watch. Now moving on to cycling, and I had a very similar experience. When I use the watch to track a cycling workout, it is out by about 10%, maybe even 15%. And I, again, I think it's a problem with the connection with the device itself to my phone, because when I use the Xiaomi app on my phone to track it and use the watch to add the extra information in later. Swimming. I test the swimming out on all the devices that say that they can track swimming. And I was really impressed with the Xiaomi Mi Band 4 for tracking swimming because of the price. And again, I'm really impressed with the Mi Band 5 and its swim tracking. And the reason I'm impressed is again, because of the price, I think it comes in at a really good price point. And like, you, you know, your Samsung watch is like $800 and has a maybe a 90% accuracy on swim tracking. And I'd say the Xiaomi Mi Band 5 has the same amount of accuracy, yet it costs 50 bucks. So that's a big like, fuck you to Samsung and Apple and all those guys because they're selling their fucking devices for so much money, yet you can get the same results with a 50, 60, $70 device. However, it wasn't perfect for swimming and a couple of examples I'll give you. One, I swam 10 laps of an Olympic pool doing breaststroke and it recorded it perfectly. It said that I'd done breaststroke and it knew exactly how many laps I'd done and it timed it and even recorded my heart rate while in the water as well. I was stoked. The next 10 laps that I did of the Olympic pool, I did one breaststroke, one freestyle. And again, it recorded it in amazing. I was really happy with it. It told me that my swim style was mixed and it recorded 10 laps and said I'd swam for 500 meters and tracked my heart rate and I was really impressed. And again, underwater, without those jerky motions of running, I could read the display as I was swimming and doing my turns at the end. I could look at the watch and see what I was doing. So the display size wasn't a problem in the water. And this is where I tripped up the device. I then did 10 more laps of the Olympic pool and I did half a lap of breaststroke, half a lap of freestyle, and it tracked my swim as 950 meters, and it said it was mixed. So I think it automatically thought I was in a 25 meter pool because at halfway, I would switch my style. So this definitely confused the Xiaomi Mi Band, and it was off by 50 meters. Again, I went to the pool another day, and I did some more swimming, and the first lot I did was mixed. So one lap freestyle, one lap breaststroke, and it recorded it all perfectly again. Then on my next swim, I thought I should change my pool length to 25 meters. And then I did half a pool length of freestyle and half a pool length of breaststroke. But it recorded it as 50 meter pool because I was swimming 50 meters and then turning around. So I tried to confuse it and it worked. <laughs> but I also confused myself. So look, it's not ideal at all times in swimming, but it was definitely good enough. And I think you could rely on it. And the only reason I would switch my laps at halfway is because I'm not a strong swimmer and I can't swim too many consistent laps of freestyle. So I would switch it up at halfway, go back to breaststroke for a bit of a rest and then pick up the pace again. So 
If you're a stronger swimmer, you'll probably get better results than what I have. And it makes it easier for swimming. You can just set it and do your laps. You don't have to count. You can just go for it and then it'll record the information for you. So I'm really impressed with the swimming, even though it had some hiccups. Now, I've also done some hiking around Southeast Queensland and the watch was great for that. It recorded the hiking that I was doing as step counts um, and it was accurate. It also recorded because some of the hiking involved a fair bit of climbing. I did some in Toowoomba and some in Noosa as well. And the step tracking was really good. I mean, it was tracking the same on my watch as it was on my phone within like a thousand steps over say a 15 to 20,000 step day. So consistency was there. I believe the accuracy is there for some of it. And for the areas that I'm not sure about the accuracy, it was definitely consistent. You know, if you're someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on tech, devices like the Xiaomi Mi Band 5, it should be something you're considering buying because of the value they offer. Like I said, these do everything that your Samsung and Apple watches do. Everything, except they're one tenth of the price. If you think you need the importance of having a $1,000 smartwatch or an $800 smartwatch and you've got the money, then whatever, go get one. Happy days to you. But if you're money conscious or you just can't afford it, I don't think you should be concerned. I think the Xiaomi Mi Band 4 or 5 are both great buys. Now, I definitely want to mention sleep tracking as well. If I went to bed at midnight and I'd wake up at 5 a.m., it would say that I'd been asleep for five hours. Now, it also broke down my sleep into light sleep, deep sleep, REM. How do I know that that's accurate? I don't. But I do know that it was accurate to say how long I slept for. I just don't know how accurate it is with all the other finer details of sleep tracking. So, although I do enjoy it and I do enjoy tracking my sleep, I don't really care much for the data. I know what time I've gone to bed and I know what time I wake up. Something to consider, you might find more value in the sleep tracking, but it's just not something I place much value on. I also use it to get some notifications, although I do turn most of them off. I don't really appreciate getting notifications on my wrist all day, every day. I think it's an intrusion, but they work. The vibration motor is a bit uh, a bit rattly, it's not the best, but it's a $50 device, so you can't expect too much there. Um, but, you know, they work, notifications come through, you can get the weather on it. So the Xiaomi Mi Band 5, it's a win-win, and I think you should go and buy one if you're looking at fitness trackers or activity trackers or smartwatches. Definitely, the Mi Band 5 should definitely be on your top three considerations if you're looking at a fitness tracker. What do you think? Tell me in the comments down below and if you have any questions about the device that I haven't covered in this review, please ask me and I will answer them. I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video. Please hit that like button and the subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video. Check you!